about to take the high speed rail. What did you say you wanted? Pumpkin? Wow. So fancy. Alright, first stop in Shenzhen. We haven't even left the train station yet. And we saw a Luckin, so... <laughs> One drink time. You know you're in China when you have 10 Luckin options within a mile radius. And free napkins. And a to-go bag. And free straws. Walking to Coco Park. It's a mix of uh, old and new, mostly new. Because look. This is a tall building. Wow. It's all our fun beverages in one place, man. I coffee. Hey, tea. And I'm sure there must be a Chagi and a Luckin somewhere. You see what I see? Oh my god. Okay, we've been in Shenzhen for less than an hour and already drink number two. This is a new spot called Daishue. It's a local brand that we have not seen before and we got their aggressive peach. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. The bits are good. This is like a white peach versus a yellow peach. The one from PT was better because it was just so ripe. But this one's good too. So usually whenever there's a manor coffee, there's an M stand somewhere. You see it, M stand? Promotion. One of these. Okay. Which one do you want? The coffee or the bag? You know you're in China when you have unlimited free bags and they give you a bag. Oh, it's a glassy kiwi. Oh, and that's an apricot. We got two coffees. Not only did they give us two takeout bags, but they also gave us a free bag. We use it now. All right, this is going to be how we're going to find lunch today at a new place in China. Go to Apple Maps because Google does not uh, work very well. Search for food. I'm going to do a couple filters. First filter is, I don't care about the cuisine type. I'm gonna filter by price. I don't want something too expensive. And I'm gonna sort by rating. So here we go. This is a Yunnan place, right? Changsha. Whoa, that's- Oh wait, that's Changsha. Maybe that's the one that we like. No, it's not. It looks really fresh and young and tender, right? Because the vegetables are grown here, right? So tender. It's the palm crust with pickled cabbage. Looks really good. Just gonna bite off some of the meat. Yeah. Mm. Really? It's so fresh. I did see the fish over there. There's fatty pork and there's pickled bitter gourd in here. It's so good. Mm. It's, good. it's really fresh, right? Yeah. Is the chai really tender? Yeah. It's like a shrimp soup dumpling. Mm. And then the red bean. Ooh. Nice. So this whole meal, 300 RMB, which is essentially $42, which uh, in the US, if you count tax and tip, it's actually $33 worth of food. Yes, all this, $33 worth of food.
tea and coffee culture is insane. We got coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee. T T and T. The storms passed. The weekend in full effect. Everyone's out. Let's see if it tastes the same as Shanghai. <laughs> really young city we can definitely tell that the average age here is in their 30s i think we bring up the uh, average age up a little bit but not too far Jeff. No, I don't never do That's that. You. Never. We love slippers. Great. And okay. ropes. And an umbrella. Kitchenette area. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Um, you know, for all the love. Wait, what? Wait, what? It's a washing, a washer and dryer. No way. Okay. Okay. Cool. And done. Uh, yeah. Where? Where's the break? Oh. Yes. Oh, that's just storage. Bathroom. Oh yeah, it's, like a it's a tub. tub. Slash bath. Mm -hmm. Very convenient. Okay. Nice. Atelier Cologne. Sure. Pomelo Paradis. I mean, mm. Okay. And then here's where you can lounge a little. Okay. A video editing. Let's check out. Oh, we're video. facing the action. Oh, we are facing the action. We came up this way and we saw like so many people like dining and waiting to dine. Over here, this restaurant. Just realized the size of this bed. I think this is a super king. This is at least nine feet across. What do you think? 
We're over here looking at this, wondering why we're only staying one night. As you wait for your table, they're showing old school 1980s Hong Kong soap operas. Some snacks for when you wait. I'll take one of each. Some tea. Wait, what? It's midnight and hey tea is happening. Oh, it's 24 hours. Oh, what? You are right. Let's come back at like 4 a.m. Not even a hundred steps. This is his favorite strawberry yogurt. Strawberry yogurt? Wow, that's very yogurty. Yeah? It's, it's on the sweet side. I can see why a 15 year old would like it. <laughs> what are you doing? Ordering luckins? I believe this is luckin drink number six. It's gonna be in the double digits now. I just get the original raw coconut milk with a special shot. So do 700 million others. Your drink? Over 700 million cups in three years. And 10 of them have been for me over the past yeah. five days. <laughs> they make it better here at the National Five. Favorite restaurant that we've never been. <laughs> right in front of where all the noise is. Yeah. We are back at the same restaurant from last night because when we want to eat something, we are determined to get it. <laughs> so here's some lessons uh, learned from this experience. One, if it's midnight and you see a restaurant that looks really good, just go in. You can always sleep a little bit later. Two, if a restaurant doesn't have what you want, have the patience to come back. You know, don't be forced to get something that you don't want, right? Hey, let's try this. So when the Cantonese stir fry vegetables, they use pork lard. That's what this is. So they give you little packets? Can't wait. It looks so tasty. Ooh, looks like there's so much flavor in it. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, this ain't no alcohol. It's really, oh my god, it's so hot. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, you don't eat the bottom of that one today they said like the delivery just came in oh my goodness there's so much row okay let's get the head let's see so much meat yeah Eating is hard work. I think we do a pretty good job. What do you have to say about this restaurant? 
This place gives you free complimentary snacks while you wait. Complimentary snacks. Shout out to the Huawei outside. Preserved plum, shrimp snacks, and unlimited tea. They're really good. Which is uh, forty-two dollars again, which essentially is thirty-five dollars in uh, food in the U.S. Twenty-four hour Haiti. You know, just realized that Haiti was born in Guangdong, so it makes sense that they have a twenty-four hour. One. Oh, hello. If we were strangers, we would probably meet at Haiti. <laughs> so this is the type of service that they have here. You can get your fruits peeled. There's no rind in it. <laughs> I'm feeling fine to leave a message. People be writing novels here. Am I jealous of him like being in the water or am I jealous of the uh, silver tube? been a lifesaver. Thanks Janet Yo. This is new and old Wanta. I haven't even touched this whole part. Which one did you get? This one? Middle one? This one is a random concoction off the street. Oh my god. Better? Faye says it all. She gave you a candy. Oh, it must be good. Oh, look, they're drying it. Doesn't no matter how modern or how advanced technology is. It's a beautiful shop house. So. This is a very unique uh, flavor, the ginger milk. So good. What flavors were outstanding? I know. Whoever recommended this, thank you so much. That's me. I did. <laughs>
Guangdong is the uh, birthplace of AT. <laughs> Should we go to the sky park first? This is a new beverage spot. It's called Yeah Juice. Okay, try it. This is the honeydew, the newest flavor. Wow. This is a fruit, not a juice. I know. It's wow. like they took the honeydew and they just blasted it. And now you're just drinking it. They didn't add anything. So good. So good. Basically, essentially mall hopping, and we're going from half of one mall to the other half of another mall. It's There's a lemon shortage, so that's why we're getting another drink. It's really fragrant. These people are fun drink seekers. They're bringing Molly tea, they're bringing all the... They're bringing luck in. <laughs> 